In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for copper to nitrate plus ammonium sulfide. So to do this, the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. So I can see that I have nitrate. I have two nitrates here in the copper to nitrate and only one here. I'm going to put a two in front of the ammonium nitrate. Now I have two nitrates. I have two ammonium ions. That's okay. I have two ammonium ions here and the copper, sulfur, copper, sulfur. This is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rule, nitrates, very soluble, AQ. Ammonium compounds, they're also very soluble. So that's going to be aqueous. This will dissolve, split into the ions here. So now we have the reactants, the products. Sulfides in general are insoluble. What that means is these two substances react, they produce this insoluble compound. It won't dissolve, so it's a solid. It falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction. And then we have ammonium and nitrate. That's going to be very soluble. Once we have these states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So we don't know the charge on copper. It's a transition metal, but the whole nitrate ion, that's always one minus. Good one to remember. If we have two of them, this has to be two plus. So this is the copper two ion, and then we have two of these nitrate ions. So two nitrate ions, and I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. Plus the ammonium ion, the whole thing, one plus sulfide ion two minus. So I have two ammonium ions, that's that NH4 plus, and then I have the sulfide ion, S2 minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we're just going to leave this as CUS. And then we have two ammonium ions. That's the positive. The nitrate is the negative, just like the reactants here. And we have two nitrate ions, also just like the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we'll cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So in the reactants, I see here are two nitrates. And then in the products here, we have two nitrates. Those are spectator ions. We can cross those out. We also have two ammonium ions in the reactants. And again, here in the products, these are spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for copper two nitrate plus ammonium sulfate. I'll clean this up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for CuNO3 two plus NH4 two S. You know, charges conserved. We have a two plus and two minus. That adds up to a net charge of zero. On the product side, this is a neutral compound, net charge of zero. So charge is the same on both sides. And if you count the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for copper two nitrate plus ammonium sulfide. Thanks for watching.